And good afternoon, everybody. How are you guys doing this fine January weekend? Hope you're having a great day today. And we are back here for the Saturday Freight Hall. We did bring out the Cascadia once again. Yep, I know this is getting very tiring, guys. But this is a very sweet truck. And let's see here. Who do we got in the chat today? Randy, James, Solo, uh, Junior. How is it going today, guys? Great to see you here. And right now, we are sitting here in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. First run today. Yeah, we're going to be nutty. We're going to go over to the Walmart in Price. So we're going to be running along the northern part of Colorado here. Underneath the hood today, we do have a Come Apart X15 at 565 horsepower. Regular 18-speed transmission. And just because, we got the SCS reefer sitting behind us also. So without any further waiting, let's climb in the truck, get her fired up, and let's do some trucking. Please proceed to the highlighted route. And also guys, hey, you want, when we were running on Thursday and my nights were not overly bright, I figured out what was the problem. And it was a coda problem. It was not the game. Uh, since when I'm not running JBX, I do run a NVIDIA reshade, oops, do run an NVIDIA reshade, and there goes my transmission, and there's a couple of options in there that I do turn off, well, I forgot to re-enable those for JBX, so yeah, our night times were a little on the brighter side. Hey, Big Dub, what's going on today? Left. Hey, fear. Yeah, long time no see. Doing great today. Miguel, what's up? So we did change around the interior today. We're not running that elite brown. We just went with the slate gray. Uh, we do have an expense report now on the seat instead of a fuel mileage thing. Uh, since I am a gazillionaire here in the game, don't need to worry about fuel costs. Before we go any further, I know it hasn't been raining a whole lot. I was actually did a run yesterday and turned the rain off, but we're going to go ahead and turn our rain probability back up again, too. watch out for on this road is I believe we're going to be crossing some railroad tracks up here. Let's hope the lights don't come on just as we get to them because uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to stop. Yeah, like this one right here.
made it through full sets of crossings. Thank goodness. Oh, did you guys check out the new Wyoming blog today? Did you want to win a copy of Wyoming? Uh, so what they're doing in the blog they released today was they posted about 21 screenshots and they are looking for locations of some of the pictures and then you reply to SCS via their social media channels and if you win then you get of course a free steam key for Wyoming. But I do have to say the new lighting that they are showcasing it looks absolutely fantastic.
Uh, if you take a look at my mirrors, Randy, you notice how the trailer seems a whole lot closer. So I'm running G Physical Mirrors 1. If you change it to 0, it's more elongated with the way the truck looks and you're able to see basically the whole trailer during a turn. I was asking Miguel, there is a mod which is called Daniel's Random Events, and he is making that mod for, e for ATS also. Apparently it adds a bunch of different random events besides just what SCS gives us. HDR is more in relate, relation to graphics. Uh, the easiest way to see what it does, Randy, is go ahead and in your profile, turn on G Physical Mirrors 1, launch the game, and then take a look into one of the mirrors. You'll notice how the trailer seems quite a bit further before, behind you. Where you go to G Physical Mirrors 0, or flip those, whatever they are, and then you'll notice the trailer is like right really close. 140 is not out yet, Cameron. How is it going today? I believe it is, Miguel. Yes, the head tracking that I have uh, is Track IR5. No. 
Now, do they have a, are you able to buy it right from Natural Point, Randy? That's the question. I bought mine from Amazon. that would then attach onto the arms of your headphones. night Paul it was like really dusty and that was about it hey Thomas good afternoon how are you doing today me as always awesome like a possum I have that problem every single day. Your regular track IR, James, uh, just wear a baseball hat and then you can put your headphones over your hat and right on the bill of the cap, there is going to be a clip that's included, which is, that just clips right on the bill. That's what I use. The only downside is, if it's warm, your head can get a, a little warm too.
I'm going to be going bald anytime soon. <laughs> Literally, my hair is extremely thick. What made me go with blue, orange, and a white graded, white gray today? But I think this looks pretty, pretty ba uh, bad. I can say the other word for it. But uh, yeah, do you guys like the banana on Thursday or not? Oh, that's no fun then, Randy. Of course, that would also make sense too, seeing that the Cascadia, when you're running this version here, that we're running the 72 Razor Roof, there's no slots for, roof, for horns on the roof either. out there one of them is by Pika and then there's a Merit livestock trailer on the ATS mod uh, update group on Facebook and if you want to go with the paid route uh, Barton has one also but I believe it might be like 18 20 bucks
like uh, with Wyoming, we're going to be getting a new post-ed truck also. With, that is actually in one of the pictures on the Wyoming blog.
mean, I'll be honest, that mod that you just mentioned, Randy, I do not like running it for the most part. Keep to the left, and then turn left. Turn left. You have arrived at your destination. Where do you want this Wally World? Back there? Okie dokie. Got here at Wally. Uh, sorry, not doing that kind of stuff. All right, let's take a uh, very scenic trip here. So uh, we're gonna be going down to Grand Junction through Montrose and across. I believe what is that? US 40. Uh, Either way, that's going to be very scenic. So let's take a load of cheese over to Lamar. And if we're happen to go by the Please Kenworth to dealer the here in Price, we are going to swap out our engines for a DD-16. the horn works. And 
even on some of the stock SCS skins, it does that, Chrissy. It's not just user-created skins. Smokey Bear. Proceed to the highlighted route. All right, let me take a look here. Yeah, we're going to be going by the Kenworth dealer, so we're going to hop in there and we're going to swap out our engine.
the dealerships like this too. I mean, wouldn't it be better if we actually pull into like a garage door to do repairs instead of being out here where we're currently at? It depends on the bug, Thomas. Please proceed to the highlighted route. An engine swap in two minutes. You gotta love it. I don't know, it. are the Chiefs playing today against the Browns or are they playing tomorrow? I believe that's tomorrow's game. Even though I am not a big football fan, I am rooting for Buffalo to kick the Ravens' butt today. Uh, that's the game tonight at 8.15. But I would love to see Cleveland knock out KC. accessories in DLC. I did purchase that a week ago or so. That is one of the air fresheners. Mr. Mercury, how's it going today? Yeah, a lot of people do agree with you. However, there are complaints about the flickering and shimmering that's off in the distance. You can even see it here in my game. It is not 
not, Terry? It's like $3.99. I'm actually not wearing the brace today.
You can rewind the stream and watch it there, Randy. Then we can break out the moron button together. If that happened in real life, that definitely would have been a change of jockeys. Turn left, and then turn right. Like a medium 
rare to a medium. Uh, not a whole lot of pink, uh, not a whole lot of red in the middle, but a pink in the middle for me is fine. I am not a big wine drinker. And a lot of people will drink uh, beer while having pizza. I don't even do that. I do not drink a whole lot of alcohol. Hey, Shevam, how's it going today? Welcome to the stream. I don't know what graphics mod you are running. I also don't know what video card that you're running. It's very hard to diagnose anything while I'm streaming, Thomas, and it's nearly impossible to be honest with you.
Uh, yeah, that is a mod that I'm running called Hidden Barriers, Bryce. Now, I still cannot drive through those areas, but the Hidden Barrier mod, which is on the Steam Workshop, just hides those X's. It makes the world look more clean to me, actually. Terry. going 
for it. I'm not going to sit behind this guy. I'm just going to hop out here so you guys can hear this because it, it's fantastic. El Chero, how's it going today? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, multiplayer is coming, but uh, we are currently in single player. Now what? No lightning is going to happen? The storm is over? Doesn't that just bite the bullet? Oh, there it is. Now, I am not sure how that sounds to you guys, but with my headphones on, amazing. Much better than the, the, the default SES Thunder. Uh, we got cheese to deliver, so uh, let's get the hell out of here. Sound Fixes mod by U Drive Safely. It is available on the Steam Workshop and Literally, Drive Safely does update the mod regularly. Yeah, once he lowered the volume of the flowing air when you have the windows down, I tried it out again, 
and now that it's not as bothersome like it was before, definitely it is worth running. something a little interesting with the Sound Fixes mod too. Alright, what I'm going to do here is I'm currently running Google for voice navigation, but we're going to go ahead and swap that out here. So we'll go back down to Doug US Sound Fixes. Now that's going to sound, it's going to have a little bit of a, like an echoey sound to it maybe. So it sounds like it's uh, further away on the inside of the cab, I guess. Sounds like it has more of an echo to it. Turn left. And that's exactly what I was looking for, Randy. Speaker emulation.
the Japanese working on something like that? Um, having smell o vision I mean, I'm not even sure what they call it, but I thought someone was working on something like that over in Japan. Don't quote me. Nah, James, you can't nap. We're all coming over for T-bone steaks. How's it going today?
but I said it like as soon as you said everything better with cheese. Now I've got you guys probably got about a 10 to 15 second delay before you hear what I say. I have 
haven't ate yet, I'm, I will actually be making dinner after I'm done streaming. Oh, look at the colors in those clouds right about now. what the sunrise and sunset is going to look like with the new lighting that we're getting. Turn left, turn right, then turn left. We're gonna go up here and then turn left. there with AI traffic just disappeared. It is something that SES knows about. Turn left. Yes, Doug, we are going to be turning left. Which wheel did you get again, Jim? Oh no, I mean, those train mods, uh, for the most part, uh, especially the one by Powerful, I mean, talk about a frame rate either, they're not optimized one single bit.
no dock next to us. We're not straight, but uh, I don't care. We're gonna drop this right here. Haha, <laughs> pretty much there's table. And again, more used packaging and empty pellets. No thank you. Uh, what I would, I mean, granted we're not running a, uh, a livestock trailer, but is there any beef loads, especially with that, uh, Cascadian farms around there? There is, but going to Yuma, that's a little bit long. Why not? We'll run over and then... Well, actually, that goes through the middle of... Uh, it's a little bit of 25, and then it's all side road. And I guess we'll take pelleted animal food from Tractor Supply. I should be vice versa, BNSF to Tractor Supply. Hey, so how's it going today? about that pelleted animal food load. Did you guys see the weight on that? 52, 53,000 pounds? I'm sorry, but you cannot haul that in a box trailer legally. Impossible. Good afternoon. on the back, but you cannot slide those tandems. William, uh, DD60. Uh, we're running at 600 horsepower. The sound today is from Captain Creech Bomb.
too long of a low Terry. Not above the stop line traffic. You guys are crazy. Yeah, I think I've hauled 45 on a flatbed. Now, granted, I was running spread axles, but yeah, I could not, in order to keep under GVW, I could not fill the truck up. Currently in Colorado, on our way to Artesia, New Mexico. Outage, Bob. Yeah, someone needs to take the uh, Coffitopia cup that we got in the uh, Cabin Accessories DLC and skin that with Pilot. Or Flying J, TA, or whatever. But if I had a choice, definitely Flying J or Pilot Coffee. Weather is a part of JBX. Now, thunder sounds are going to be from the Sound Fixes mod by You Drive Safely. Go straight.
just one of the default schemes that we change the colors on. Blue, orange, and a light gray. I'm not even sure what paint job it is. Let's take a look. Uh, where did it go? Yep, it is the Blue Bites paint job. I just didn't go down far enough. Turn left. on Thursday too. also. Sundays are for trucking series.
Bug nut covers are in the game. They are the default ones. Now, if you don't have the chrome, then you will need the wheel tuning pack DLC. The rims today are courtesy, rims and tires are courtesy of Smarty. So those are the Smarty's wheel and tire mod for that. The lug nut covers, as I mentioned, from the wheel tuning pack DLC. with a come apart 565 x15 currently underneath the hood detroit De uh, detroit diesel series 16 at 600 horsepower is included with the truck James this is called uh, bit bites I uh, bit bites or something like that is what it's called it is one of the default paint jobs that you are able to change colors on Justin. Thank you for the bypass. for a driving award. Speed limit 65, we're doing 77.
Parker lingo, Justin. And without diesel, your truck is not going to be moving, so diesel is the fuel, and fuel is called go-go juice. Probably is, Terry. guys on the CB saying if they're going eastbound, they'll go, a hey, westbound master motor is clear back to the line, and what they mean by the line is like the state line. stop soon. Yeah, with me, Randy, it was more like with the trucks that I was driving. The wheel is turning, but the hamster is dead. Surprised. 
surprised. They're pretty up to date on trucker lingo. Not that a lot of drivers use CB anymore. And 19 is still Sesame Street. There are still people arguing left and right all day long on it. All right, I got to take a look here. Where is a fuel stop? <laughs> uh, we're actually going to make a little detour here because we're going to go over to here. <laughs> And then we'll go down that way and come back over. <laughs> that was in the file it does give you the load order Let's take a look. Now, these are, I think it's 240 for max out on the fuel. Let's see how little we had left in the tanks. <laughs> yeah, we had under five gallon left. <laughs> yeah, 
and we hadn't done this yet today, but since we're underneath a canopy, echo check works. Excel Martin, it will show you, there's photos in there of what you need and how to enable it and in the proper load order. So refer back to the download. If you need to re-download it again, so be it. with the reefer on and a Jimmy hauling hogs. We was heading for Bear on I-10, about a mile out of Shaky Town. I said, Pig Pen, this here is the rubber duck. It's about to put the hammer down. Ah, darn it. And yet, yeah, ignore that, guys. I really suck at singing. Uh, yeah, 850 million guys. I was home on the weekends.
disagree with you there, Terry. A lot of truck drivers do because even though they are a truck driver, they love playing games for one, and two, if they run into somebody here in the game, they don't have to worry about killing somebody because here's what you figure. A fully loaded truck is 80,000 pounds versus a 2,000 pound car. Truck wins every single time. And there are idiots out there on the road who do play chicken with trucks. stress in the game. You can turn it off and quit whenever you like. Whereas, unlike in real life, if you're on a hot load, if you don't get it there, uh, yeah, the company is on your case, and then the receiver is also going to be on your case because their load is late.
and this is probably one of the worst intersections in the game. It used to be Tonopa before they rebuilt it, but now trying to get out on this road is kind of a pita. Or even going across the road. This is our second way station day that we've got pulled into. Most of them we have gotten the bypass on. Now remember, we've got a 53,000 pound load of pelleted animal food on the wagon. 88,000 pounds, yeah, you're gonna be parked for that, literally, and then be offloaded in order to get under the 80 GVW. to this way station. Exactly, Randy, because the driver is responsible for the loading and unloading of his truck and to make sure that weights are being watched and things like that and with 53,000 on the wagon no matter how much you slide the tandems you're never gonna make the load legal exits to the left price before you get to that one there is a another coop too so you can actually get pulled into both of those as of yet, Terry, but it is my guess.
yeah, we're not too far from our drop-off point, 33 miles. The slowest part of that is going to be going right through the middle of downtown Roswell. That speed limit should be 55, but that's how it is in real life, too. I have actually been that way. Arches are closed. Wait, they shouldn't be. It's only 840. Go straight. I do run both of those, Bryce. The real company logo 3D revival along with Sissels. And I basically use Sissels just for the AI traffic trailers. Special sauce, aka Go Thousand straight. Island dressing. I saw your reply, Randy. I was actually thinking, even though the company is no longer in business, I was thinking of doing their paint scheme that they had on their FLDs and putting it on the Cascadia. Go straight. Revival, which also includes like restaurant remakes, so 
in the stream here, and especially in Colorado, you would be seeing Taco Bell, Starbucks, Burger King, KFC, Pizza Hut. Uh, that would take place of the NHL 82 Real Company billboards that's on the Steam Workshop. So it's basically like three mods combined into one. American gas stations on the Steam Workshop is so out of date, but the, and if you want to, it depends on how you want to run your game, Bryce. I try not to, the more mods that you run, the more issues that you can run into. I would definitely take three mods into one instead of running three different mods. If you're going to remove mods, Terry, make sure that you also sell off any of the assets before you get rid of the mods. So, truck mods, make sure you sell the trucks, accessories, and things of that nature. And don't ask me why I'm doing this, guys, but we are going to be doing the double blind side. I'm just going to do my goal here to see where I'm at. Yeah, we're already going to have to pull forward. I'm going to be cutting that coil way too close. This parking, this one that we're doing, is a royal pain in the butt. We're gonna do another goal here. All right, so I got a whole lot of room there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull forward and then get my angles a little bit better to get back into that slot right over there.
and we are totally missing the slot. I actually need to hug those tanks right over there. That will give me the room that I need. There we go. not cut this enough. Alright, cut it sharp this time, Coda. get out and look here all right that's a whole lot better I'll just start cutting underneath it and we should be all right This one here, the double blind side, this is an extremely tricky back. Uh, it's not something that you're normally going to run into in real life either. Look at that, it is raining, but this is where we're going to call it quits here for this Saturday. I do want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the stream, make sure that you leave a thumbs up. If you are already not my friend, you do that by clicking that red button down below. Have a great rest of your Saturdays. As always, keep that shiny side up, and we'll catch you on the flip-flop.